Oh, hey, this is oh, this is not a big order. You got a lot of small stuff. You know what? That's okay though. Size does not matter. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my supermarket. And as you can see, everything. It's like every, every time I play this and do a video, everything looks a little bit different. I consolidated down in my stock. I don't know if that's the right word, but I got rid of a lot of stuff because it was getting hard for the stockers to keep up. And I felt like I just kept spending so much money trying to keep everything stocked up. My market value prices are priced marked up 12% as of right now. Uh, potatoes, those are supposed to be only one. Same thing with the fries. I keep forgetting to do that, but oh well. Everything else. Whoa, my voice just really cracked. Everything else, though, has only two shelves of everything. Except the freezers have one item in their, sh in their spots. And then even right here, and then when I do want to eventually put more items, I can go all the way down. As you can see on the top right, we are level 86. Two items all the way over here, and then we got potatoes, and, which have full shelves, and as well as the toilet paper. And then you can see even the alcohol has two shelves. Everything back here, two shelves, just toilet paper and potatoes have full capacity. And here is my storage once again, two of everything. So it's getting a little bit easier to keep track of everything. But I have over $231,000 and the plan is we are going to buy three expansions and I was going to wait because I, the rest of the stuff I have to buy costs like around 1.5 mil, I think. But I really want to do some upgrades. So we're going to buy number 13, 14 and 15. Look at that. Only 75 grand. But let's look at it. Oh, so much space for more product. So, you know. We're going to buy a couple of licenses as well. We got 75 grand. We could technically buy another expansion, but there's real, really no point unless you're buying product. So let's go. Nope. Why am I clicking on the wrong thing? We're going to go over here. Go to the licenses. We are going to buy these. It looks like most of it's going to be stuff for like the fridges. That is fine. 12,500. This money is easy come, easy go. And then I wanted to buy cleaner. This is like cleaning stuff right here. 22,000. Oh boy. And then this one's 22,000 as well. But should we buy the books? You know what? We're going to do the books a another time. I'm going to buy the cleaner and the pet food. Because I feel like that's going to sell for even more. So 22,000. And look at that. We're down to 18 grand. I had over 200,000. The money in here is so easy come easy going. I still have to stock it up. Which should not be too difficult. I just got to buy some stuff for the, the store at all. And we got a lot of stuff over here. So let's go ahead and see. This is where we left off. Vodka. So everything downwards. So we need a fridge. So that will get like one. One. Two. Two. I think like two fridges if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I very much well could be mistaken. But we're just going to do two for now. So let's get two of the large fridges and then we got a bunch of new shelving products so like one two three four and five maybe five we'll do six shelving products six twelve hundred dollars let's 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 go ahead and do it that's 2k i, I should have enough 16k should be enough though just fill up the two shelves like i am doing for everything else though so I will, where am I going to put everything? That is a damn good question. Should I just move this back? Probably because none of this is going to be perfect because I do plan on rearranging a lot of this soon, but right now it's just to get the product out there. Let's go ahead and get my other fridges. Uh, oh, we got shelves. We can do shelving units at the same time. It is no big deal. So let's go ahead and put you like right there. This is going to look so very messy right now, but you know what? That is perfectly fine. You know, I just put you right next to that other one. Uh, there we go. And a lot of the times I'll save the rearranging for if I'm doing like a live stream or just in my downtime, because it can take me a while to rearrange everything because I, I change my mind a lot. I'm, I always second guess how I want to put things. So this is one really long fridge aisle though, but that is, that's fine. That's fine. I think that was a lot. I think I only ordered a couple fridges. Uh, that's a shelf. That's a shelf. That is a shelf as well. That's a shelf. I might have bought too many shelves. Now that I think about it, we're, we're about to find out, I guess. 
So for this, okay, when this go back here, it's going to be kind of cramp looking, but should work out. It can, but I'm going to put you guys down here because this is where the, oh, we can't because the alcohol aisle is right there. Okay. You're just going to go right here for now. That should be fine. We're going to put you back over here with the other fridge products. There we go. Open you up and we're going to put you right there. And then we only got a couple more shelves and I guess I got to organize it again in the future because of that right there. We'll put you like right there for now. And then we'll have to put a couple down there next to the, uh, against the wall. That'll work for now until we get them. Oh, I didn't even notice we unlocked this over here. Wow. I didn't know it was going to go back that way. I thought we were going back further that way. That's why I bought those three. So that is my bad, I guess. So for this. I'm going to go ahead and just put you against the, no, you know what? The dog food and cat food will go over here for now. Just for now, temporary situations. And then I put another shelf over there. Like I said, very temporary. Just got to get the product on. Got to get our store open and get to uh, selling the product. Put you like right there. And then we'll put you next to that shelf right there. Kind of make everything look kind of neat for now. Uh, get lined up. It'd be cool if they had grid snapping in the future now the day i am playing this there was an update it wasn't nothing i thought about making a video about that's why this is not going out on the day of the update but now there is an fov slider and there is mouse i think mouse since that video is new and there's also invert access for the uh, mouse i can't play inverted it is driving me nuts maybe i'll do it as a challenge one day who knows but as you can see here's FV, fov it goes up to 1 to 20 and I am not a fan of how this looks. It is so disorienting. So I just have mine set to 70 for now. Even 100 isn't too bad, but it's just super disorienting for me for this game because I'm so used to a lower FOV on this game. Normally when I play a game, I run it at about 105, 110 though. So we got to go ahead and order some products. Hey, Freds, how you doing? Good. Taking them a long break. So are my stockers. So everything is so stocked up. And I wanted to go over to products. If you notice in my store, I actually sold all the lights. It doesn't really make a difference with the electricity bill. But nonetheless, they were uh they weren't being used. So I just I just went ahead and sold them all. So we need two, 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 two. We're just ordering two of everything. We left off on the rice. Got to gotta try to remember that. Two, two. Now, none of this is going in the storage yet because I do not want these talkers going nuts trying to stock anything. So, there we go. Wait, did we unlock cat food and dog food? Oh, yeah, it's at the very bottom. There it is. So, I might have miscounted on my uh, shelvings. We're about to find out, though. And then we have enough to get the rest. I think that is everything. My customers will tell me if it is not, though. Look at all the new product. I love getting new product. So this looks like a uh, cat food. We're just going to put you right over here. Yeah, that sounds fine. Why not? And it one box fills two. So that is good to know. I do like stuff like that. So what we're going to do with you is we're going to go ahead and put you back over here. Uh... We'll put you right there. Why not? That works out. And then we got this cleaning stuff, which we'll put somewhere over here. Do we have any extra shelves? It doesn't look like it. Yes, we have extra shelves, but all these point I'm moving being moved down and fully filled in the future. Uh, this stuff. Whoa, I did not mean to put you over there. There we go. And one box fills two again. I do like those types of boxes. That is very, very useful. So we're going to put you back over here. Well, trash you at least. And what is this? Looks like cat stuff. So we're going to go next to the other kitty stuff. Looks like cat nap. Uh, no, chicken and catnip. Okay. You know what? Whatever. It's cat food. I don't know why I'm so interested in the cat food. It shouldn't be. Uh, this stuff, you know, it's cleaning supplies. So we just put you over here. Uh, it's only one box that does it. That is fine. Very fine. What's over here? We've got more of this stuff. Uh, this stuff can actually go in the storage now. So we just put it next to the other cat stuff right over there. And then what do we got over here? Well, let's go to do some of this stuff. This is... What the hell is this? Oh, uh, it looks like rice. So we'll put you like right here. 
perfect. Looks like we got some, what is this now, coining wipes? I guess so. Uh, we'll just put you right there, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. It's driving me nuts that it's not super organized. This looks like it goes in the fridge, so it does. It is some type of cheese? Maybe? No, it's creme. Creme. You know what? Whatever. Oh, at twenty-two dollars, that stuff is nice. Now, like I said before, I've always said it: mods use it at your own risk. I do have a couple installed. It's one's a pricer mod, so I can have stuff automatically get set for me and stuff like that. So that one I do have set, so I don't forget to set things as I place them. I know some people don't like mods, but I'm using just a couple. And then as they're as the features are officially added into the game, I am removing them as they are added in. Uh, this looks like some uh, cheese. I cannot believe that stuff goes for like twenty two dollars, uh, and that's the price stuff. Yep, uh, regular market price is twenty fifteen. Nice. Like I said, I have everything set to about twelve percent above market value, rounded up to the nearest five cent. Just so change is easier when I'm working the cash register as well. Uh, over here, do we have any room over there? Yep. This looks like cleaning stuff. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I think I have everything stocked. I am not entirely sure. But if a customer tells me I don't have it, then obviously I will have my answer. Now if we go over here. The money winner for today's licenses is the doggy food. And I love it because look at the little tiny pug face. I love pugs. Like, have you ever seen the pug in Men in Black? It's just awesome. But it's market price is $30 with the 12% above and rounded up. It's $34.25. So this is the money maker. The cat food. Cat food is actually cheap in this world. Look at that. And I know cat food isn't all that cheap all the time because uh, there's a neighborhood cat that always comes by and we buy cat food for it and always feed it. So that, that, I don't know about that being that cheap, especially this one, like two thirty five. I think that's cat food. Yeah, it's food. It says it right over there. But you know what? Whatever. It'll probably make us money nonetheless. We are going to be opening for business. And as you can see over here, I stocked up the stuff like here's the new product. Like there's that bleach or whatever it's called over here. You got some of that cleaner cleaner right there that i just did dog food right that like that since it's four but or since it's a big box and then we got stuff over here no not over there but like right over here we got some stuff right there and then all the rectangular boxes i had to go right here for more storage and we only have one lonely shelf left in a few spaces over here so we're running out of room and how many licenses do we need to get still we are at level 86 we'll probably be at level 87 in a little bit but we need one, two, three, four, five, only six more licenses. Let's go. Now, I'm kind of curious if more product will equate to more income from the customers. Although, if you're buying the product as well to stock up your storage, I feel like you're kind of like negating that. But I'm curious if it just having a wider variety will increase your uh, income because it's not something I really paid attention to, but my normal income for like maybe the last like several in-game days have been around 10,000 and then maybe with a profit about 5,000. Of course, like I said many times before right now, there's not going to be no profit on this business day because we just spent over 200 grand. So we're kind of, kind of in the hole right now. So let's uh let's see how everything runs. We got some extra pizza right there. I have to remember that. An extra potato, a couple. Oh, what's that right there? It's upside down. There we go. Uh oh, it's empty. Well, I don't know why that's there then. But another thing that was fixed with the bugs as the day I'm playing this was red boxes. Stockers getting fixed or stockers getting uh bugged out. So maybe I'll put it on the screen right here. I have no idea if I'm going to do that in editing or if I really want to because it's just bug fixes, but it's just great. And because I mean, well, waiting to do this video a few days after the uh, bug fixes, but it's awesome that the developer is getting out these bug fixes and working hard and I'd love to see it. And some people thought it was a joke today because today I'm recording. This is April 1st. God have always, God have always watched out for uh, game developers and, everything on x or twitter when it comes to april 1st if you know what i mean hey guys how you doing 104 
Could do better. Could do better. Not gonna lie. What's what about you? 160. You guys can do so much better. Hey Sid, how's it going? Welcome back to Ooh, you got dog food. How much money is this person spending? That bag is so large. Look at that. Okay, maybe the price is good for that then instead of the cat food. The cat food bags are pretty small. That bag is so large. Are you guys some of the new bleach? I, I don't know about you guys, but I love it when my customers buy the new product. And I'm always over here like a hovering manager. I do have a register over there if I need to jump in and help out my employees. Ooh, spend that money. Let's go. 231. Love to see it. Love to see it. Today, we're focusing on how much money I can bring in the income because we got money to make up for now. Oh, no. Everyone's complaining. The checkouts are full. Let's just... Oh, wait. We got to see how much this person spends. They got three bags of dog food. Oh, buddy. I love you. You can come back any, any time. 162. You're going to break 200. Let's go. Come on. Almost there. Yes. Oh, yeah. Love it. 223. Nice. We are going to be opening up. Checkout 4 is now open. Everyone, please pile on. Uh, oh, nope. Now checkout 4 is open. I forgot I had to take off the sign. Please pile on, everybody. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to... I was about to say the gas station because I've been pointing a lot of gas station somewhere. But no, welcome to my supermarket. There you go. Have a good day. You know what? If it's too expensive, go somewhere else. We are a high-value premium outlet. So please... Just buy what you can and get the hell out. Hey, welcome, welcome. I know the checkouts are full. I am doing my best. I just got on the register. We are going to get you guys taken care of. I'm kind of curious if I get more customers with this because I know it's one of the last updates. Customers increase with store level. I wonder if the number of product you have affects that at all. I have no idea. There you go, 238. You come back any anytime. Oh, sir. 85 dollars you can do so much better than that but for now i'll take your money and just try to be happy with it but i know guys check out some food oh you got dog food hell yeah oh look at that money love it i love it when it is busy now one thing i do do is either at the end of the night or when i start the new business day since the stock is very limited now that I cut back on, I let the stockers just pretty much wrap everything up. Unless I see a box is completely out in storage, then I'll order that. Oh, sir, you, yeah, you're sir. Okay. Why do you got to get so much stuff? But I uh, will let them stock first and then I'll fill my storage and then we will open. And usually it's been working out fairly well with the way I've been doing things. Oh, you got some kegs, 224. You come back any, any day uh, if I can actually type out properly so we were at about eleven thousand. if you look at the top right now we are at over sixteen thousand, and we still got quite a few customers to go oh yeah another 200 dollar order you gotta love to see it five six seven uh 25 35 there you go have a good day and then if you look at this thing we leveled up level 87 i am almost there 15 10 15 25. I do like having everything rounded to the nearest five cent. It is a very nice one, two, five. There you go. Have a good day. Don't have to worry about counting out those pesky pennies and whatnot. 125. You can definitely do better. It's motivation. You can do better. Just saying. You can spend a lot more money here. There you go. Have a good day. Welcome. I am so sorry to anybody watching this because it is dark. I'm sorry to the customers, but. I sold all my lights, except those lights. Those lights actually spawn in every time I load up the game, even though I sold them. So I just leave them alone now because I don't want to try to cheat those $20 that I get every time. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, we got $6.95. Why? You know what? Just keep the five cents. I am not worried about it. We got a line and everything. Five, six, 20, 20, 50, 60, 70. There you go. Have a good day. Welcome, welcome. I really want a $300 order. It is very rare. Although I could have had one, just had not paid a attention to it. Oh, we might actually hit 20 grand. We're actually making quite a bit of money here, which is very, very nice. Oh, this is oh, this is not a big order. You got a lot of small stuff. You know what? That's okay, though. Size does not matter. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the supermarket. Oh, 208. Come back. Any time there you go have a good day welcome 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 
Ooh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Oh, yeah. There we go. 222? Hell yeah. Anyone that spends a bunch of money, you're welcome. You're like my VIP customers. I wish I could have a wall of VIP. You guys compete for the highest priced orders. Uh, 196.1, since you can actually abbreviate that and not have to do the zero for the uh, tens and stuff. Hey, how you doing? Uh, 102. Again, a lot of you could just, just do better in general. How are you guys doing over here? Uh, not, not, not a big order. Not a big order. Ooh, this might be, you know what? Since we only got a couple lights. Yeah. Let's have the, let's have the checkout area lit up. That is, that should be perfectly fine. These cashiers are so slow. Look how fast I did my orders. And then they're like, yeah, I'm just going to take my time. It's not like they're not getting paid by the hour. So I don't know why would they would take their time. Your salary. Go ahead and uh, jump, bust it up. I, I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying. 115. Oh, come on. No good orders. Okay. And with that, our final customer is out of the store. It feels nice to be level 87. We're 13 levels to max. Let's go ahead and finish our day. Day number 296. Nice. Uh, 101 customers. Okay. They spent 10 grand. And supplies cost 10 grand because we bought all those new supplies. I'm still trying to figure out a good pricing point. I do like 6 and 7% above market value. It seems to make things good. And then you also get a good amount of store points. Which I don't worry if they complain about the price. Because look at that. 51 complaining. But we still got 867. So at most we would have got over 900 I believe. But I'm not worried about that. I'm trying to figure out a good pricing. Well, I do like 6 to 7% above market value, but you run out of your products and you're pretty much spending about the same amount in supply costs just to make your customers happy. So it is very, very interesting that I'm trying to learn how to do things. And as you see, storage, not looking too bad. Let's look at the aisles real quick. I do got to order. I always do order before we start the day and just let them finish stocking. So is anything like completely out over here? Like this is completely out. I'll order two of those and then I will order, uh, I'll order usually these bigger products as well. That's completely out and that, and that, and well, like I order some of this stuff too. So I have to order that and we got to spend quite a bit in product. So I'm curious how things are going to go and we're, I'm going to go ahead and order this. We're, I'm just going to go play through the day real quick for you guys. Because I, I got to still wait for my uh, stockers to finish their stocking. But I'm going to lower the uh, mark the pricing of everything to, I think, maybe 7 or 8% above market value. I'm thinking 7%. Maybe 8 We'll, we'll see. But I'm going to do that real quick. And I'll see you guys in a, well, right now, in a second. Okay, and that was our final customer on this day number two. I probably just did like a very big cut, maybe a time lapse. I have no idea if I'm what I'm doing while I'm editing or what whatnot or while I'm recording, whatever. But I was gonna finish the day to number two ninety seven. Only had ninety nine customers. Haven't been under a hundred in a while. But we still brought in ten thousand. I raised my market prices seven percent above market value for that. But our total profit was 6300 which is very, very nice. And we only had to spend 4000 on supplies to fill up my supplies on that day. And supplies, still not looking too bad. Like, I'll need to order two of you and stuff like that. Man, oh yeah, some uh, chicken and potatoes. But nothing is really running out horribly. So I'm liking the way I have things set up for the most part right now. And we come out here. As you can see, product is looking very fine in... I think I'm going to keep it like this for a while, at least until I hit max level or until there's like some type of update with the uh, stockers and cashiers. Maybe if they sped up or maybe some more balancing with the prices and customers or, you know, whatever other types of balancing things, but not too bad. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like or subscribe if you like the content and go down in the description below and check out my discord. It was probably up here on the screen somewhere at the beginning of the video as well as a card and yeah hope you enjoyed and i am really enjoying this game it's a lot of fun and until next time remember to change that world one smile at a time you never know who's life you can save or change as always i want to see you 
in the next live stream and or video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.